welcome to another daily intention from our daily intention series. There are going to be a total of 200 words that we work through together, whether you're popping in every day or just coming to find a word for the week or an, a word of inspiration as you need it. This is your toolbox and I hope that you'll subscribe so that you always know exactly where to come back and you know when I post a new word. I wanted to show off a little bit of the beautiful Texas spring day today. So I've got a nice full view out our window. The clouds are gorgeous. The trees are budding all this beautiful green. It is surprisingly a little bit chilly, but spring or winter doesn't quite want to give up and spring is right around the corner. So I am excited. We do have longer days now, so I love having the extra sunlight to spend outside, gardening, things like that. So I hope that you are ready to welcome spring and whatever that means for you. I am rereading old Instagram posts and sharing early days in sobriety and the focus words that I was using every single day so that I could really adhere to a positive mindset throughout the day. And the reason I had a sly look on my face is because today's word is adherence. And what I wrote about adherence on this day was day two of waking up from an allergy medicine fog. On most days, I can't wait to get out of bed, read my devotions and write in my gratitude journal plus coffee. Even if I don't fully process the message, not enough coffee, it starts my day the right way. On a day like today, it's all I can do to get out of bed and reading feels like a chore to my heavy eyelids. I've learned enough to know, however, that without starting my day in this manner or some sort of commitment to my sobriety, my whole day is in jeopardy. I talk to a lot of newcomers who don't want to do the work and I completely understand where they are coming from. If I counted up all the self-help books I've read throughout my life on happiness, worry, drinking, relationships, I could open a library. But I was never willing to do the work they suggested, at least not consistently. By the time I joined a recovery program, I was given the gift of desperation. My old ways certainly weren't working, so I was willing to get a sponsor and work the steps. I tell newcomers that you get out of it what you put into it. Just like in the medical world, it means taking medicine as prescribed when it comes to your recovery journey, fill the day with adherence. And I have shared before that I was in 12 step. So a lot of the language that I use was very immersed in 12 step at the time, but the idea of adhering to something consistently still rings true and is still why I'm about to celebrate five years of sobriety. I do my morning routine every morning. I It may change and about every year I change something about it. So whether or not that's a new da daily meditation book or starting a new gratitude journal or just a general journal, maybe you are adhering to every single day on these YouTube videos and I love you for that. And anything that you can find to create routine as we talk about in my yoga studio, it creates strength, structure, and stability. And that stability, that adherence, that sticking to something one day at a time until it's one month at a time, until it's one year at a time, just creates this level of self-respect that I know for me, I have never felt before in my life. So I always fell on the idea that I didn't have self-worth or self-esteem, but I realized it's because I didn't stick with anything. By sticking to these, these ideas, to these videos, to morning routines, to yoga consistently, all of these things have helped build my self-respect and it makes me so full of joy and able to be of service to you in this way and speak confidently about these topics.